I was eight years old. I was a daydreamer. I'd often lose myself in a book, I'd rather be kind than mean, and I'd rather be happy than sad. So, when my school teacher got to my corner table in the classroom, right by the window, halfway through maths, I told her I was going to be the best author in the world and help everyone I can. And she told me I was a dreamer. Unrealistic, that these dreams were unachievable, and that being a dreamer or having a dream just wasn't as good as I thought it was. At the early age of eight, I needed more realistic dreams. I needed a smart target. <laughs> you probably see these at work. These are targets that are specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. And I will admit, this structure may have a place in a business working to meet its targets, but in a primary school, in a secondary school, as a basis for the wildest of dreams? No. By boxing children's ideas and dreams into this structure, we take away their freedom. What about ambition, passion, a reach for something amazing or worthwhile? How can we dream big when we can only dream for the specific thing visible to us? Almost every huge movement and inspiring change we see in the world today is more than this. A true dream is not measurable. Sometimes they don't even seem attainable, especially on your own. So why do we educate children with this from such a young age, telling them that their personal or wider dreams are unrealistic, unobtainable, just dreams? If the civil rights movement did not dream of ending apartheid, if suffragettes did not dream of women's rights, if LGBT plus activists did not fight for their right to marriage, where would society be now? Martin Luther King did not say in his famous speech, I have a smart target. <laughs> he had a dream, a dream that was called unrealistic by many. And though the struggle is ongoing, we have come a long way. Look at the dreams of Einstein, Walt Disney, J.K. Rowling, the Beatles, all rejected, all at first dismissed as unrealistic. The last part of smart is time-bound. Yet what happened to dreaming until it comes true? Fighting until it happens? Our dreams should surpass time. For if they are not achieved by us, they will be achieved by those who follow, those who find inspiration in our dreams, those who join us on our challenge to change the world. Why limit our thinking? Why limit our dreams? Let's scrap smart and replace it with dream. Dedicated, revolutionary, energizing, ambitious, meaningful. Let's give children the tools to achieve their dreams. Let's teach them dedication, show them their ideas can be revolutionary, teach them to work with the energy of the greats, teach them to have ambition until the end, but more than anything, show their ideas can mean something. They can be the smallest of dreams or the biggest, as long as they are meaningful to them. I've always found the best advice in books. And in Night of the Iguana by Tennessee Williams, Shannon tells us we live on two levels, the realistic level and the fantastic plane. She is telling us that while we dream, we live on this fantastic plane. And I believe wholeheartedly this is where we should all aspire to live until this fantastic plane can become our reality. One of the most exciting things about living on your fantastic plane is knowing you may never make it, but putting your all into trying anyway. By having a so-called unreachable dream, we can work to create a better society. It assists us in finding others who share our dream. We can walk down a path that is yet to be ventured on. We often criticize the unfocused children. The ones who, like me, would rather stare out of a window than do their maths. But these are the dreamers, the thinkers, that I think we need for society to progress. We should praise the children without blinkers, the ones taking in 360 degrees. So let's begin right now. Let's scrap smart in education and replace it with dream. Let's teach children to have that dreaming attitude so one day they can stand up here and tell you how they're walking on their fantastic plane, how they're turning their dreams into a reality. Thank you.